What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are continuing our UU battles with our choice band as Zelf team. Uh, before we begin, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, yeah, let me know how you enjoyed the battle, how you, you would have done things differently. Uh, as you can see, I do have, I, we're going to do five battles, as I said from last time. We do have four um, at the time of this recording, four done, so we are going to be looking for one more. Hopefully soon. Um, before we get into team builder, we are doing collab today with Chop Incorporated. I will leave her channel link down in the description below. Give her channel some love. She also does Pokemon content. I believe she's doing a Nuzlocke Let's Play thing. Not too sure. But go and give her channel some love nonetheless. And maybe we'll battle again too. Now, this battle was quite fire, by the way. Um, I will do a spoiler warning here. I'll give you three seconds. If you haven't seen the last battle, you'll be missing some context. Uh, so I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, y'all probably clicked out by then. Um, so, as you remember from last time, we got our first loss because A, I played around. B, we had Seismic Toss on our Quagsire, meaning Quagsire could not touch that Aegislash until we made some changes. First of all, after the battle, I tried to dial in this team even more, but we're very unlucky. We're missing our Zen Headbutts here, we're missing Toxics, Air Slashes, it was not fun. It was not a fun time. This even carried over to the Switch doing the VGC doubles. I have my dust clops using will o wisp. It missed four will o wisp in a row in the doubles format. I don't know why, it, but it missed four in a row. And it was completely frustrating. So, this battle, we need a freaking win because it's just been so unfortunate. Um, yeah, I mean, it happens, it's Pokemon. So, our changes. As of, we decided to get rid of Zen Head before Cycle Cut to get the 100% accuracy, more reliability for lesser power, but high crit ratio. So that could, I think that was a fair trade. That was the only other physical psychic move. And you see it right here. We decided to go Scald instead of Seismic Toss. Quags are supposed to be our defensive wall. Why am I not going to go for Burns? I mean, you could be like, oh, why didn't you go for Earthquake or Earth Power? Because there's also a bunch of flying types running around. So I just felt like that would put me in a pretty bad position. Seismic Toss, I knew Seismic Toss would, if we ran into a Ghost, it would be in trouble. And I've always been able to deal with it except for that last battle. So it was like, god damn it. So I decided to go for Scald. We can distribute some burns, make our team a little more bulkier. Should be able to have more longevity in these battles. Uh, it's not like this team can't take hits, but it is not the best. It is kind of frail, not really too frail, and in the middle ground. So any type of burns we can get on physical attackers will help out. Besides, you know, guts Pokemon like Machamp and Heracross, jeez, they will wreck the shit out of this team. Um, but yes, those are the only changes we've made to this team. We need the win here. So let's get into this battle with Chomp Incorporated. Again, please check out her channel. Her link is in the description down below. Give her channel some love. This is a fantastic battle you're about to see. So let's begin. So my opponent is bringing Primarina, Needle King, Buzzwool, Rotom, Zarude, and Azov. Azov is probably the lead in this case, just from looking at the team. But um, yeah, let's begin. So as predicted, as of comes out, I do send out Oberic, the Cobalion. We trade rocks in the first turn, and I opt to go for the Thunder Wave to start slowing this thing down. Um, normally, I, I think as of spend, have the Sash, so any type of... If we can slow this down, it will help us long term. Um, I go for Iron Head to get the Para Flinches, but my opponent goes for U-Turn. I don't know if I would go for the kill in that case, to be honest with you. But Buzzwell comes out, forging me... Forcing me, forcing me to switch in Quagsire to take the Earthquake, and it's revealed that it is Life Orb indeed. 
So that's good to know. Close combat, we get an additional chip with that life orb. But we do lose Quagsire. So Quagsire not doing anything for the second game in a row. We send out Azo. Probably could have gone for U-turn. But I do go for Fire Punch here to get a big hit off. I think Fire Punch would kill um, Buzzle, by the way. So uh, we got very for fortunate with the switch there. Catching my point off guard, that choice man. We get a lucky burn with the Fire Punch on the Rotom. And not really a prediction, this was just meant to sack the Valiant. But we did get fortunate with the pain split there. So we Sacred Sword to get a big chunk of damage off on Rotom before Gobalion gets knocked out. Out comes Primarina. I do send out Venusaur here. Because, you know, why not? Look at the typings. And I go for Sludge Bomb. Probably should have gone for Knockoff here. But um, nonetheless, get a big chunk of damage off on Azov. I switch out thinking I can't live another move. Get the paralysis off, so we go for the agility to outspeed everything on the field. And out comes Prima Arena. Like I said, we needed this win, and I was very unlucky. Look how lucky we get. We not get one flinch. Okay, we get effing two flinches here. Two air slashes, really crippling that Prima Arena down. There's no way I was getting a third one, so I switched out in the Venusaur. And, and I don't think Draining Kiss, Draining Kiss was knocked out. Uh, Malice there. I do go for uh, sleep. Oh, I thought I go for sludge bomb. I do go for sleep. I put it to sleep. I'm thinking a switch is coming, so I go for the knock. No, I do try to go door to kill it. Skull does a lot of damage. Since we get the burns, so that negates our black sludge. Um, I just kill it. Yeah, we do just kill it. So down goes Prima Arena. Big wall gone on my opponent's team. Out comes Azel. Again, I'm not thinking I'll outspeed, but I do outspeed. Uh, I guess I underestimate Venusaur's speed. Um, Azelf goes down, and out comes Needle King. And I can take one. I knew I can take one, and I was going to put it to sleep, but we missed our sleep powder. Um, and we will lose Venusaur here. So that Needle King is a threat. I do send out Azelf, knowing I can outspeed it, but I do go for U turn, predicting that Zarude switch. So down goes Zarude. Out comes our Queasy Bake Oven, the Rotom. And like I said, I, from last time, I don't think Rotom commonly run max speed. So this max speed Rotom here is doing a lot of work right now. That's why I was able to outspeed the Rotom Wash, I believe. I don't, don't again, I don't know my opponent's spread. I'm just going based on what I normally see. Uh, but that was Rotom. I do kill the Needle King. Oh, the battle's already over. I rambled on for too long. Wait, what just happened? Let's see. Dark Poles. Oh, okay. So we just knocked out Rotom, Needle King, knocked out our Rotom, and freed up as Elf to Psycho Cut and win. Okay. But yes, that was the battle. Um, really back and forth um, type of battle. Yeah, very fun. I rambled on. I'm so sorry for that last bit there. Um, but yeah, I, again, I don't know my opponent's EV spreads. So, I don't know, we could have won a speed tie there. But from my knowledge, I don't know if Rotom's commonly run the max speed, so that's why I was quite confident in staying in um, on the other on the other Rotom. So, yeah, Chomp Incorporated, if you're watching this, maybe you can type down what your EV spread was for that battle, for in this case. Because, yeah, maybe we got lucky and won the speed tie. But yes, we do pull off a win, a 2-0 -win, win in a, a much-needed battle. Or much needed win, rather. Oh my goodness, yes. Thank you for Chomping Court for a great battle. We are officially 1-1 one one in this session of battles. Will our win streak continue? Or will we lose again? I don't know. We'll have to find out next time. So stay tuned for when the next battle posts up. As you can see, I have battles 3 and 4 up and ready to go. Still needing a battle 5. I'm hoping that person gets back to me soon. Nonetheless, I hope y'all have a great day today. Uh, again, give both channels some love. Check out Chomp Incorporated, link down in the description. Um, like, comment on this video. Let me know your feedback so I can make these videos better for you. And I hope you enjoy. Again, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see y'all next time.